was starting to think maybe you move back to Texas to, you know, drink beer on your porch. The uh, thought did cross my mind. You could have at least answered one of my phone calls. <sighs> Paul, when I told you I needed some time to think about it, I meant more than a few hours. Yeah, but it was like two days and two really long and agonizingly lonely nights. Now's when you say how much you miss me. Missing you or not is not the issue here. Can we just go somewhere and talk just for a little bit, please? No. Now let's talk here. Tell me why you're stalking me. I, uh, I, I, I would be glad to. I just, I think that it would be a little easier, you know, if we did that in private. Exactly. Because you're trying to wiggle out of something, and I'm not going to make it easy for you, so why can't okay, we talk here instead? Stop, stop. I'm... I, um... I just talked to my lawyer. About the divorce, or about No, nothing's the baby? changed with the divorce. It's still going through as planned. And the baby? I can't give it up. I'm going to raise my child. And I'm prepared to fight Emily if I have to. Well, so much for including me in the decision. I really wanted to, but more than anything. But I had to move really quickly, and, and you didn't return any of my phone calls. Oh, so it's my fault that I didn't have a no, say in this. I'm I, okay. No, I, I had no choice. I had to take a leave. I just hope I haven't lost you because of it. Your change? Thank you. So, uh, I finally clinched the decision. Jennifer and Dusty decided to get married. So I crashed the engagement party. <sighs> Wasn't that just asking for trouble? I thought that if I caught Jennifer in a moment of happiness, that it might be easier to get her to start thinking about forgiving me. So did she? Not by a long shot, no. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 it's a dumb mistake. I should have known better. What happened? Well, instead of pulling her closer, I just... I pushed her even further away, and she made a line in the sand, and she says that she doesn't want to have anything to do with me ever again. She doesn't mean that. You weren't there. It was worse than when she shut me out after everything that happened with Johnny. She said this out loud to everyone? That must have been horrible. No, actually, she was pretty calm about the whole thing. Which makes it worse. It made me realize something, though. Meg, I have no family left. All I have is you. And this baby. So you decided you couldn't let it go? You always knew that I wouldn't be able to, even before I did. You said I wouldn't be able to abandon my child, and you were right. The trouble is, I also know that Emily can't let go no, either. I can take care of that. I got the law on my side. Maybe. Look, I can't do any of this without you. I need you. I need you in my new life. Look, I know what I'm asking of you is ridiculous. I'm being honest with you. And this is real. I want to be a father. I don't want to start a family. And none of it makes any sense. None of it's complete without you. Uh, look, you, uh, you should know I went to see Emily the other night at the hospital. Why would you do something? Because I wanted to look in her eyes and see if she had really let she you go. She has. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm not. Why would you do something? Why would you why would you go and look for problems that don't exist anymore? 
Look, Paul, it's great that you want to let this baby, that you want to keep this baby in your life. But I don't trust for a second that Emily's not going to try and use that to keep you and hers. Not if we won't let her. She's going to make our lives together miserable. No, she can't touch us. Emily's going to be in an institution of some kind for a really long time. What's it going to take for me to... You, you have to believe that, that, that Emily can't hurt us anymore. Look, we can do this, right? We can be a family, the three of us. Don't... Please, don't walk away from that. The only thing that will make me walk away is another lie. I'm, I'm not going to do that ever again. How can I be sure, Paul? We, all you can do is take my word, which I know doesn't mean anything because I lied to you, but look, I, I learned my lesson, all right? I, I know that... I know that if I if I don't tell you the truth, if I try and protect you, that that just winds up pushing you even further away, okay? I'm not going to make that mistake again. So you really think we can start over? If you have half as much faith in me as I have in you, you, you're amazing. You are. You, you're going to, no doubt in my mind, you're going to be a wonderful mother, and there's no doubt in my mind that in time, you will feel about this baby, that it's yours as much as mine. We can do this. If you love me, do you still love me? I do still love you. I love you. And the question is, do you know in your heart that you can love this child? I know in my heart that I'll give it everything I've got. just made me the happiest man alive. Wow. And all I had to do was promise to take another woman's baby and raise his name. Already you're having second thoughts. No. No, I, I'm very excited. Of course, that could be the latte or I'm just frantic with fear. You don't need to be afraid, not now. No. Not when we're together. You and I are fine. The person I'm worried about is Emily. But look... Emily's exposure to this child is going to be limited. I mean, even if she does get visitation rights, she's going to be in an institution or a prison. And there's no way that Emily is ever going to come between you and me. Well, if she tries, I will definitely put up a fight. But I don't want to spend another couple of days without you. Oh, tell me about it. I was like a crazy man. I was going to come to the farm and climb up to your window. <laughs> Really? Well, you know, that would have been quite a feat. My room's in the attic. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. yeah, and I was a little scared that your mom was going to be there with her trusty shotgun. Yeah, she uh, can hit anything at 30 paces. Especially um, a varmint like you. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. I think I've had enough bullets for one lifetime. Now I have so much to live for. I'm glad to hear it. You're glad to hear it? Yeah. What do you say we get you out of that attic now? Yes, may I live with you? I don't know. Maybe the place that we were thinking about living in, you know, the place that we were looking at, maybe it's still available. You think? I don't know, we'll find out. In the meantime, why don't I take you back to my place? And Meg, don't you ever leave me again. I, I thought you already got everything out of Oh, I just still have a few boxes left that I hadn't gotten to, and now's a good time while I still have a chance. You mean before our life explodes in a frenzy of diapers yeah, and pacifiers? Yeah, and... something like that. That's still a little ways off. I still have a major custody battle to win. Mm -hmm. Paul. Paul, hey, don't. Don't do this to yourself. I'm just going to go say hi. And then what? Come on. We're your family now. You have me, your baby, our baby. You don't need anybody else. You're my family now. Honey, did you 
Did you see that? He just turned around and walked away from you. Well, Mom, I made myself perfectly clear at the engagement party, okay? He knows that I mean business. Jennifer, you two have always been very close. You've watched out for each other. You've taken care of each other. I know you want to forgive him. Mom, I can't. Yes, you can. All it takes is just one step at a time. Are you Je coming? Jennifer, please. No, okay? Because Dusty and I are... We want to be happy, and I love him, and I'm not going to let anything stand in the way of that. Not Paul, not anything.